Hello everyone. Welcome to the second video of this video series. Optimize your data search by leveraging Amazon Bedrock and SAP GNAI Hub. My name is Soumya Shekhar Das. I'm a partner solutions architect with Amazon Web Services specializing on SAP workloads. Today in the studio, I have Sergey with me from Leverex. Uh, Sergey, first of all, thank you for being here. Please introduce yourself. Thank you, Soumya, for inviting me and uh, allowing me to talk about our use case and about uh, our company. So my name is Sergey Valenda. I'm from Leverex and uh, my role at the company is connected to building uh, solutions on top of the AWS and BTP. Great. Uh, so uh, let me just recap what we learned in the first video of this series. So in the very first video, uh, you learned about Amazon Bedrock. You learned the enterprise grade security that we are providing to our customers. You also learned about uh, how AWS and SAP, we are working together to uh, build innovation to our customers. That includes the processors, that includes uh, the Amazon EC2 instances for training and inferencing of large language models. We are also working with SAP to build the SAP Generative AI Hub as part of SAP BTP services. It's nothing but SAP AI Core. And in the very first video, Sergey also talked about one of the compelling use cases that he and his team is building uh, on top of uh, SAP Generative AI Hub. So, uh, Sergey, I would request you, uh, can you please uh, let us know about the solutions in, in details? So let us dive deep there a little bit. Exactly, so let's do that. Uh, we're talking about intelligent assistant font structured data and uh, typically every intelligent assistant contains three different layers and of course large language models. Right. So on our uh, first layer, we have the ERP data sources. This might be different sort of uh, SFTP services, DMS systems, ERP systems, and so on. So basically, all of the data storages that contain unstructured information, like media files, like videos, like CAD files, and so on. Hmm. Okay. And then we need also to. Yeah. So 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 just a quick question. Uh, so once you have this data source right how you get this data out can you please just elaborate on that of course so uh, in order to prepare this data we need to have some sort of data storage that right. will accumulate this for faster access and more efficient search and analytics in order to do that we are using the data lark so data lark is our own solution leverage developed for such cases for ETL operations for connecting SAP and non SAP systems and for uh, migration of, of the large amounts of data Okay, so DataArc is basically working as a middleware here? Right. Okay. Now you have the data in data storage and here is the user interface where users are asking questions in natural language and getting the responses back. Uh, can you please talk about it in this? What are the building blocks what you are using here? Specifically this empty box that I'm seeing here. Mm -hmm. Right, so one user is creating the natural uh, prompt here in the natural language, uh, this information needs somehow reach to the data storage where it was pre-aggregated for the fast access. And uh, in order to do that, we're using uh, actually SAP service, SAP GNAI Hub. Okay. And there is a very specific uh, way why we're doing that. Because uh, simply we need to have access to the large language models. Right. So you're using SAP GNAI Hub as SAP BTP service, SAP AI Core to connect with large language models. How you are connecting it? Mm -hmm. Of course, we cannot connect directly to the large language models. There should be some service that will be created on top of that. Right. And uh, in order to use this service, so we selected Amazon Bedrock. So Amazon Bedrock provides us access to the foundational models and of course easily accessed from the GNAI hub there. Okay, okay, okay. And additionally, uh, is there any any chance, any way that data, data Lark is also connecting with Amazon Bedrock? Exactly, so uh, in order to make this search more effective, we're using two techniques basically. This is purely the metadata based search, which is collected from the uh, on-premise data sources and different files and documents. And this is also a vector mm -hmm. search. 
So our database that is actually uh, SAP HANA Cloud contains these two operations, these two, uh, let's say, storages. So it combines the purely uh, table kind of format and the vector format. So vectors and embeddings are also stored inside of the SAP HANA Cloud in our situation. And data arc, in order to create this uh, vector embeddings, it just connects to the Amazon bedrock. So, and after the connection is done, we can work with the vectors that will be part of the HANA Cloud, SAP HANA Cloud. Okay, so by seeing these solutions overall, I see that uh, when customers are building the solutions by using SAP GNAI Hub and Amazon Bedrock, it's actually really very easy for them, right? Am I correct? Yeah, exactly. So yeah, and and what large language model uh, you are actually using to build this solution here? Mm -hmm. We're using Anthropic Cloud too, and there was okay. one reason because we we were selecting we were trying to select the most optimal uh, model for both scenarios for the vector search and also for right. generation of the SQL queries. Right, and just in a very high level, can you please touch base on a couple of customer benefits? Of course, the first one will be the operational efficiency. So when you are implementing such kind of solutions, uh, it allows you to access the data in a much more faster way, perform some analytics faster, explore some, some, some data aspects which were not available before, maybe. Right, right. So uh, final question for you, uh, Sergey, that if customer wants to build these solutions, how they will reach out to you? Uh, very easy. So we have a web page, halavarix.com slash BTP. So there will be some information about our team that is called uh, BTP uh, Enterprise Innovation Center at Leverix. And there will be a contact form uh, that you can use. Our team is uh, can all, not only building the use cases, but our team is, is also helping the customers to build the right foundation for the clean core, for example, for innovation, for uh, AI, and for integration. All right. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you, Sergey, for uh, you know building with us. Thank you for helping our mutual customers. Uh, thank you all for uh, watching this video. And uh, please, please reach out to us to build the demo, build the POC, and uh, build the solutions on top of Amazon Bedrock, on top of the large language models, ACP GNAI Hub, and build the solutions with Leverex and AWS. Thank you very much. Thank you, Somia. Thank you, everyone.